Hi, and welcome back to the second episode of our podcast, Switch It Up. I'm joined here today with uh, Jordan. Yay, hi, I'm back. And I didn't get kicked out yet. <laughs> and so this is a podcast where we just uh, talk about different video games, our experiences, our opinions, uh, mostly related with the Nintendo Switch. And, if it uh, wasn't obvious enough. Yeah, if it wasn't obvious enough from the title. So today, uh, we were talking, we we're thinking about talking about the Sega Genesis Mini Collection. Oh wait, no, the Sega Genesis Mini. Oh, they have two things. Yeah. Sega Genesis Mini and the Sega <laughs> Ages. Now, let's start with the Mini. Uh, when did they the announce mini. it? I don't know, a couple of days ago. Sunday, I think it was. Yeah, it was, yeah, uh, it was Sunday. They announced that and they announced the Sega Ages. Things. Yeah, they had they had it on the they had like a little event or something, right? Or the fest or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, and they said that they have they'll have uh, they didn't really say how many games or what games exactly, but they said games like Sonic Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog, Fantasy Star, Four, Streets of Rage Two, just to name a few. So. I'm just I'm hoping for Echo the Dolphin. I don't know if that was on the Genesis or not, but I want Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> I, I love that game. I never played it, but I saw it's a great game. <laughs> I played it on the PSP when they did the the Sega collection. All it was right. all I played. It was amazing. It's all you need to play. <laughs> yes, you do. There isn't nothing you need better than a game about dolphins and aliens. I don't. I never like to play the alien. I never got to the alien part. I just like swimming around as a dolphin and doing hoops. <laughs> <laughs> I was just jumping out of the water, and jumping back. I think I might have played it as a flash game, because I remember as a kid I used to, I, I used to play a bunch of like flash recreations of actual games. So I used to play Sonic, but in Flash. <laughs> Did you actually play any of the old Sonic games? And not real. Well, oh, in Flash. <laughs> But not not. I mean, not in flash. No, no, not the real ones. I mean, it looked wow. it looked real enough, but not Some really. Something Hedgehog Two is by far the best one. <laughs> the first one I completed, and the best one. <laughs> I really want to. It's not like I never. It's like I hated the game. I'm never gonna play it. No, I always wanted to get around to it. I just never did. Mm, that's, yeah. that's a lot of like all your fucking games, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I want to play this game. Never actually played it. Psha. No. Yeah, it's just. I never had too many consoles. I never had too much anything. All the money I did have to spend on games I wanted to get, like. Specific things like you know, Mario Kart or whatever. Never had, like, anything extra to. Oh, I'm just gonna get a, an old Sega game now. Well, why not? Did they even have them on the uh, eShop on the Wii U or the Switch? They don't have them on the Switch. Though. The Switch, obviously. Yeah. yeah no. That's okay. coming with the Sega Ages. Yeah. yeah. I, they have some on the Switch. I know they have Echo the Doctor on the 3DS. I never had a 3DS, so. so. Doesn't you help. You should get me. a 3DS. Yeah, I should get a 3DS now that the Switch is out and the 3DS is about to die. Here's an idea then. Guess Sonic Mania. They announced a new one coming out. Perfect time. <laughs> What is even in the new one, anyway? In the new what? In the new Sonic Mania. Oh, and, and I've heard of, there are two new characters. One of them looks like Sonic, but yellow. Wonderful. <laughs> and then they're going all out with this. I think they've got... It's all the same to the main stages. I think they announced some new one. Can't be sure now. And the stages change in a way. They haven't announced too much about it. Finally, the stages change in a way to make it more different. And then they've added some new modes, like a, I think called a rush mode. Mm. It looks good, but if you already bought it, the first one, there was no point. Yeah. yeah so you should buy it since you never bought the first one. <laughs> so Play a real Sonic game. So they add extra stage transitions, a new boss, and other new features. Yeah. So. It, it's not bad, but it's just that it's a physical release. I might need to delete just for that. Yeah. Oh, they also has a and knuckles mode. Oh, it has that anyway. Oh. Right now. Oh, wait, no, you can play as knuckles. 
Evet. Zaten hani tay olurlar. <gülüyor> well there you go. But who needs tails when you have knuckles? <laughs> Isn't Tails already yellow Sonic? <laughs> no, Tails is a fox. <laughs> Sorry, orange Sonic. <laughs> I always like I always like Tails a bit more than Sonic from my Flash experiences, but <laughs> still, uh, I, I like them enough to have an opinion. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Tails for Smash. <laughs> Don't Sonic, we don't need him. We have Yellow Sonic. See, they could add Tails from into Smash. They don't really have... They shouldn't. They don't really have any other Sonic characters, though. All they have is Sonic. Well, if they don't add anyone, then that should be Eggman, not Tails. Why Eggman? No one cares about Tails. I, I care about Tails. <laughs> you never play the real Sonic game. You don't have an opinion. I played the Flash. It's good enough. <laughs> yeah, you, you just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. I, don't know, I think Tails would not be a better suit, but you know, would is equal has an equal chance of uh, getting in as Eggman. Let's put it that way. Like he, he should. He should. What? It would be okay. It would be okay. Think about it. He can fly. But Kirby can fly. Kirby is Nintendo. That's allowed. <laughs> Kirby is allowed to be OP. <laughs> Okay, he's not Kirby anymore, is a anyway. Nintendo capital. Mm. Kirby's fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted that Kirby style I like. That game looks amazing. I mean, I'd like to get it, but I don't think I'd pay 60 pounds for it. <laughs> or 50 or whatever it is. Uh, like, I'd get it if it was maybe 40. And I didn't have anything else to get. Cheap but... much? <laughs> I mean, like... It doesn't really have, it doesn't seem to have too much depth to it. It's Kirby, it doesn't I know need it's, depth. You eat people. I know it doesn't need depth, but if it doesn't need depth, then it's just like going through the levels and, like, I don't know, it seems a bit too easy to be 50 pounds. Let's put it that way. It's Kirby, how hard do you expect it to be? I don't expect it to be hard, that's the whole it's point. Not, it's not dark zone. I, I know that, and I don't expect it to be hard. I'm just, you know... If I'm gonna play something like that, then I don't want to spend that much money on it. Like if it goes on sale, then I'll get it. But otherwise, it... mentioning Dark Souls, I got delayed, didn't it? Summer 2018. Oh yeah, it was summer or something. Looking right? forward to that. Well, now you can look forward to it again. <laughs> well, I could just buy it on the PS4. You mean the PS3? Got a, got a PS4 for fifty dollars and now you're shoving it in my face. <laughs> Gotta shove something in my face. Rude. I could just put a mirror in front of you, but it's too much effort. Rude. Yeah. What else are you planning to get on your PS4 anyway? Monster Hunter World. Just to see if I was right about that being a bad game. I mean, I need to know. I will pay money just for that. It doesn't look like a bad game. It looks like a good game. No, just... but it looks so much more easier. And it's Monster Hunter. It shouldn't be. Yeah. It's not... Oh, from what I heard, it's not easy. But they didn't say it was difficult either. So. Yeah, but it's on the PS4. There's a bunch of kids on there. Who think Dark Souls is hard. Oh, well, now you're opening a whole new can of worms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. And I love these worms. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I want Monster Hunter World, Kingdom Hearts. Definitely. I can sick of playing them, but I will play them again. <laughs> and then Persona 5. That game looks really good. Even though you will never watch anything anime, you would still play Persona 5. Yes. <laughs> never mind. With Persona, it's a good game. I'm not sitting here watching an anime called Cowboy Bebop. I have them. Cowboy Bebop is a great anime. Not an adjacent great. It's a great show in general. Hey, you know what else is great? What? Not watching that show. <laughs> well, 
well, then you can stick in your little corner of the world and not watch it. I wouldn't say I'm in a corner. I would love to be in a corner of the world. Actually, if you think about it, you're dead center because it's like... Yeah, I'm the center of attention. I, I wouldn't go that far, but... Yeah. Everyone cares about England. Everyone cares about what? Everyone cares about England. Oh, England. I heard inkling. But the inklings are also good. <laughs> but they're not in England. But no one cares about them. They're not in England. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, if I had a PS4, I think the first thing I would get... Like, if I got it nowadays, I would probably get Last of Us 2 when it comes out for sure. I'd start to get into the Kingdom Hearts series because I always wanted to. It always seemed very interesting. There you are. Yeah. You need to enter it. You like Disney, don't you? I like Disney. And well, there you go. You already like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... I don't know. Overwatch. Overwatch seems like a lot of fun. Overwatch is fun. Yeah. I played a little bit. And, uh, it can be annoying. Yeah. No one ever plays support or healing, but you know. <laughs> we can go faster. I can be a healer. I'm a great healer. I heal all the enemies. <laughs> I think you might be playing the game though. See, no. If you're a true healer, you don't want anyone to get hurt. So you're supposed <laughs> to heal everyone and anyone. Doesn't matter what team you're a healer, you don't have a team. In a healer, there is no, no teams. one dies on your watch. <laughs> on your Overwatch. I'm done talking to you. No, we still have another forty minutes. We have a position for the podcast available. Send me an email if you want to join. Right. What's our email again? <laughs> um, it's a. Uh, Switch it up at Gmail or something like that. You'll find it on Twitter. <laughs> You'll find it in the description. <laughs> It'll be somewhere down there. I might just make it be 20 lines down in the description. Yeah. Have a bunch of spaces for an all this stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what we get on the PlayStation 4. Well, that's what I'd get if I had. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, then I could beat you in another game. You need to have PS4 with Overwatch. Alright, if you can find me one for £50 like you got it, then I'll definitely buy it. Ooh, anyway, I can you... get you one for £50, but it might not be working. If it's just a shell, I'm not interested. <laughs> It'll look well, cool. It'll make it look like I have a place for, but I'm not sure if it's worth £50. <laughs> £50 to look cool? You need something. Anyway, uh, next is oh yeah, the Sega Ages uh, yeah, thing yeah. coming to Switch. It's like a, I want Echo the Dolphin on there. I think they have Echo the Dolphin. They better. If they have that, I'll be buying it straight away. Uh, wait one sec. Something popped up. Anyway, yeah, they have a picture here on the article. I'm not sure what game it is. Oh, it's Thunder Force. Okay, never mind. It had the C, and I thought it was Echo the Dolphin for a second. You never know what's yeah. in that game. Weird alien robot thing. <laughs> it could it, it could have just as well been. Anything could be Echo. <laughs> never anything. Yeah. But they've confirmed uh, that will come in, like, batches with different games. First of yeah, all, Yeah, it's going to be, like, the virtual console that yeah. Nintendo should have. <laughs> Should have, well, they have Punch Out and Mario and Mario. What more do you want? <laughs> they have the weird arcade all the time. <laughs> Who wants real virtual console when you get arcade? Uh, yeah. So they said in the first batch uh, coming out this summer, it'll, it'll have five of the classic games Fantasy Star, Alex the uh, Kid in Miracle World, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Alex the Kid. I love Alex the Kid. Doesn't have a the, just has Alex Kid with two D's. I don't know if that's actually how it's spelled, but. Yeah, that's Alex, yeah, it's spelled like that. Oh, that's radical, I guess you could there's say. There's an Easter to it in Bane X2, so that's how I know. So it says Fantasy Star, Alex Kid, and Matt, Miracle World, Sonic the Hedgehog, Thunder Force 4, and the arcade version of Game Ground, which I've never well, heard of Game that's Ground. That's the one I'm looking forward to the most. Game Ground. Game Ground, yes. 
It is. Sounds wonderful. And I, I don't know, but it sounds amazing. Sounds like a... It's a game on the ground, whatever could you want. <laughs> Two favorite things mixed together. It's, it looks like a fantasy game, but I have no clue because I just clicked it and no photos come up, so... Never mind. But yeah, I don't know, I think it's a good idea of them, because they, they started porting like their Sonic games onto mobile. Might as well bring them around to Switch eventually. Well, they should also be on other systems as well. Yeah. Look, it would, like, the Switch is obviously the handheld part. Most people use it as a handheld anyway. So it'd be nice to play, uh, play on your platform on a big TV. Or Xbox. Can't maybe Xbox down. They don't have much else. Yeah. Well. PC, but they pretty much have emulators. They'll be alright, I think. I mean, if you think about it. Actually, I have nothing to go on there. Never mind. We'll cut, we'll <laughs> cut this. We'll cut this part <laughs> out. Made in conversation. We got them. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to fix something with the audio because every time you keep reloading this page, and this video starts playing. It's very annoying and distracts me. Well, everything gets Big thumping you. noise. Yeah, what do you want to see in the shader we just? If they any shader game, I want Ghost and Gold and Echo the Dolphin. I want to play Ghost and Gold for Sega. What's that one? Knights, Knights something. Ah, oh, Knights, yeah, Knights. Yeah, the Knights series. That's a good one. Yeah. One that was in Sonic Racing. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I remember it was on the Dreamcast. Yeah, Night Night was amazing. Yeah, and if if the if the games are going all the way up to Dreamcast, then I want to also play Jet Set Radio because that game looked fun. Oh, that I love that game. They need to bring that series back. Yeah. So, Just as said, yeah, read my stuff. We need it. Mm. I, was looking, it I was looking for a soundtrack to uh, something. Uh, no, yeah, to an anime uh, on That's eBay. <laughs> Shut up, on eBay, and they had the seller also had a bunch of game soundtracks and it had Final Fantasy and it had Jet Set Radio there. And I was like, I never. Ah, you should have got it. I never listened to the songs from Jet Set Radio. But looking at the game, I imagine it has some pretty awesome music going along with it. <laughs> it hasn't aged really, hasn't really aged that well, but they look great. I still don't need to listen to it. The game or the music? Both. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> they need a remaster for that. <laughs> I mean, a remaster to any cell shaded game usually goes out good. Like Wind Waker HD was looked really pretty. As much as I yeah, but that for. still looks good on the GameCube. Was it the GameCube it released on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that still looks good on the GameCube. Still. Came out like 2005 or something, right? I don't know. It came out a long time ago. Yeah, came out 2002, earlier even. 2002. That game is old. I'm old. <laughs> we already knew that. You're old. Yeah, that's a bit over doing it, but yeah, I don't know. I think in general, Nintendo and Sega a little bit, I guess they they really made like they made do with the limitations of their hardware. Like if you look at old GameCube games, they looked like they could have easily have been some of them could have easily been on the PS3. Like the uh, what was it? The Star the Star Wars one. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would. If Can't we're going PS3, I would say when the PS3 first launched. Yeah, yeah, when, obviously when first launched, not later on. Like, I mean, like they look like games that could have been sold on the that PS3. If they did come out later on, they would still be good. Yeah, they would still be thought, you know, looked at as not shitty. <laughs> anyway, but they need to do a pull of the pull of when wake up. We need on the we need a pull of the pull. <laughs> I mean, whenever I go on Facebook, on... Wind Waker HD, HD. <laughs> H-double-D. HD squared. <laughs> whenever I go on uh, Facebook or Twitter, I just, and on the Zelda pages or anything, it just keeps coming up like, oh, Zelda Trilogy Remastered, blah, blah, blah. And it has, like, Twilight Princess, uh, Wind Waker, and Skyward Sword. Oh, we need Skyward Sword Remastered. That yeah. game was very... It was good. It was great. 
It was good. It's just didn't people play. just didn't like it because the motion controls. Yeah, basically, yeah. I would say, aside from Breath of the Wild, it's probably the best Zelda game I played. Link had Story a reason wise and to save Zelda. Wise. Yeah, Link had a those. reason to save Zelda. <laughs> and what was that? Because yeah. I never played the game. Um, he was staging her. Oh, nice. Yeah, they Finally. were both in a <laughs> <laughs> Took you long enough. Yeah, so he he was saving her because she got captured by Gary. You know, it only took him twenty five years. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it, it, he actually had a reason to save her. It was nice. Mm. Like, he wasn't just saving her because he got told to. Yeah. I don't know. The yeah, only it, thing it was I know about they need to remaster. The only thing I know from Skyward Sword is big birds. That's it. <laughs> yes, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Who needs a story when you have big birds? <laughs> is Agatha Agatha is the bug girl, right? Is she from yes. Skyward Sword? Or she's Clark from Princess? Twilight Princess. Okay, that's what I thought. And she is annoying every day that she is in. <laughs> she doesn't look annoying. She looks like a fun, quirky little character. Kill yourself. Rude. You never played Twilight Princess. You don't have a choice. Hey, I played it for like two whole hours. Yeah, it's like you had Brawl Wind Waker played it for like what, five hours. <laughs> Maybe not even that. Hey, I had school and stuff. It was difficult. Not really. That's beside the point. No, it's not. You're trying to avoid the point. I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> I'll get around to it eventually. So in 20 years, you got it. 2025. Probably won't even be talking to you by then, but you can message me when you play. Hopefully for your sake you won't be talking to me by then. Oh, for everyone's sake. <laughs> I'll, I'll ditch you, still talk to your sister. Ah. She's, she's fun, kinda, sometimes. Doesn't know anything about video games, but eh, it's fine. Ah, well, neither do you. You seem to make it work. Well, not work, <laughs> but you know. I make buy. You don't do bad, but you don't do good. I do something in between. Eh, maybe not even that. That might even be pushing it. In between towards bad. How about that? Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> Why not? Mm. See, now, the big question is, if you... Now that you got your PS4 for only $50, if you got a PS VR for only $50, would you get it, or would you be like, no, I don't need that shit? Oh, yeah, the PS VR is great. My brother had it before he got rid of it because he never used it and it was great. If I wasn't in a lot of pain with my chest, I would have played it a lot more than what I did. <laughs> See, the thing is, I played it like once or twice, but in all the advertisements and everything, it, it just like the quality of the image looked much better than what it actually did. It looked very not bad, like not like bad quality, not bad image quality, but rather like the the models themselves and look very nice. Like what I played was that uh, until dawn DLC oh, yeah, my, or whatever. The yeah, my boy was terrified of that. <laughs> yeah, oh, it was amazing. That was, that was terrified was, of that. Oh, what a yeah, it's like he got to this one part. It's like there was just a lot of singing going on. Fucking pussy. <laughs> a bunch of blind ghosts just appears on there in your fucking screen. It was hilarious. <laughs> and then he had Resident Evil 7, but he never Wait, played one that. second, one second. Okay. Uh, Resident Evil 7? Yeah, Resident Evil 7 VR. That, that was amazing VR. Oh yeah, w was it the whole game in VR? Or was it just yeah, like it was the whole game. game. It was like Skyrim VR. It's the whole game. Nice. And they, they are, it, the only awkward How did thing you about... Move around, though? Uh, you had the PlayStation moves, so you'd move them around, and it would move with you. No, I mean like you know, it, it was very awkward, but it worked. No, I mean like in Skyrim and in Doom, I think you like it's got that teleporting thing, where you like you show where you want to go, and then it goes there. Oh uh, no! When I played it, you had, you could use the PlayStation moves, and you'd basically shoot the button. Oh, so like one of the buttons is like walk forward. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It it was like a slideshow type thing, but it wasn't fast. 
Mm. First enough for his, well, his driving video, he's going to be murdered by them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's trying to be my best and he was having to be out there Yeah, I heard, I think I heard some more of the Bethesda, Bethesda right? Uh, hey. just Stary is Bethesda, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, I heard somewhere that Bethesda's gonna try and make more of their games into, like, VR supportive. Well, like, they sure. So far, they're only releasing Stary Man And Doom, and Doom. And Doom. No, we don't count Doom, that hasn't been released as much. No, Doom has a it's VR. not a bit, it's not a Bethesda game until it gets released on ten different platforms. <laughs> yeah, no, and I think they're also working on Fallout VR. I think I heard somewhere. Oh, Fallout VR would be great. Yeah, and uh, yeah, if they're gonna do it with everything, might as well do, do it as well with Wolfenstein. So Wolfenstein isn't one of their popular services, so I don't think they will. I am, but Wolfenstein Two was. Real big hitter for them. Yeah, most of the games are a big hitter, but none of them are a big hit for long. Yeah. There's only two real games they've had that were a big hit for long, which were obviously Skyrim and Sky and Fallout. Yeah. They, they are the two big hits, so they'll definitely do a Fallout deal. I can't see them doing a Wolf this time one. Mm. Yeah, probably. Anyway. Should we move on to what's next? Let's talk about the BAFTAs. The BAFTAs. The BAFTAs themselves. So... More I, game awards. So yeah. there's probably won about what, at least one of them, I'm guessing. <laughs> well, it only did win one of them, which was kind of weird. I don't know. I, like, with the game awards themselves and how Zelda won, like, five or six or whatever they won, it was kind of <laughs> weird to see that at the BAFTAs they only won one of them, and that was for innovation. Uh, yeah, it is it that one. It is innovative. Yeah, I know, but... Like, like, the best game of the year was What Remains of Edith Finch. Which... Is that the war in the game? No, no, it's the... Uh, it's the walking simulator indie game where it, like, takes you through the house and you play through the memories of the different uh, family members of e right. Edith Finch. No, I don't remember that game. It was I know there was one. You play as a dog and it's through a wall. That one looked good. What? You play as a dog, I think. I don't know. I don't even know many <laughs> It looked good. I was thinking um, of that. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, um... But yeah, so like best game of the year is What Remains of Edith Finch. Best multiplayer game is Divinity Original Sin 2. Never heard of that. I heard of it. I don't remember what it is though, to be honest. Uh, best so game many better multiplayer games that came out. Yeah. And let's say you had a Battlefield 1, Call of Duty World War 2, Splatoon 2, and. I don't think of multiplayer games. <laughs> uh, Doom had a multiplayer, but that didn't come out in 2018. Yeah, that's, that's, not, not, yeah. that's not a... Yeah, yeah. More, uh, that's not a main multiplayer game. <laughs> PUBG, did that come out in 2018? No, 2017? No, no, that, no, that started in 2017, but it officially yeah. released in 2018. But Full. yeah, but if I can go for Game of the War, then it's Game of the War, I can go for that. yeah. Uh, I mean, not but, 2018, yeah, 2017. It's 2017 that it's supposed to come out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fortnite. Oh. Fortnite, did that come out last year? Yeah. Yeah, it came yeah. Out. Well, the original game, no, but the Battle Royale mode came out last year. Right, right. So, yeah, see, there's List so many other ones that could have won. Yeah. Uh, but, anyway, well, if it won, then it probably was a good game. Or well, probably not. The cover art that it has here kind of reminds me of Dungeons and Dragons, but <laughs> that's probably why it wouldn't. Who needs a good game when you have Dungeons and Dragons cover? Never played Dungeons. Are you strange and Dragons. Stranger Things did good. <laughs> yeah, never played Dungeons and Dragons, but I'd like to one day. Seems fun. It seems like it goes on for too long. I don't have the patience for that. I like long games. I don't mind them, but they have to be entertaining. Dungeons <laughs> is just one person reading. Oh, you should 
You should play Elixir. Let me do the reading. You should play I'll this read game. Faster. No, 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 listen. You should play this game called Elixir. It's so much fun. It's a card game. And it's oh. uh, spells and... like the, the, the point of the game is you have a bunch of spells. And some of them are difficult to pull off. And some of them are really easy to pull off. And the easy ones are just like little things to make the game funner. Like every time you use this and every time someone is referring to you, they have to call you master or... Uh, every time someone is referring to that person, they have to give them a weird nickname each time, and it has to be a different one. And the uh, more complicated ones actually helps you win the game. <laughs> you know, if we're recommending card games, I recommend Lynch. Which one? Lynch. Oh, it, it looks so good. Basically, you're like on a train thing. It's like you're held hostage and you have to play card games. So say if I place down a six of jack, you need to play something higher than that. And if you don't, then the image of the card is what happens here. Oh, so it's like played with a normal card deck. No, yeah, no, no. it's played with a normal card deck. No, it's just a normal card game, but of course you can't play it in real life because you'll probably end up dead. Mm, sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, we should play it sometime. Yeah. No, in real life. Okay, you, you get a plane ticket here and I'll definitely play it with you. Good. I, I won't kill you, I promise. Ah, right, okay. Even if you do, it's not a problem. No About one time, can. anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to the BAFTAs. <laughs> but uh, win for best game design was Mario Odyssey, and again that for a family it. and social game, also Mario Odyssey. I don't see I how. I reckon that should be Mario Kart or Splatoon. It's I more mean, social than Mario Odyssey. <laughs> yeah. I get but, the family part, but the social part, nah. Yeah, I don't. I don't get what they mean really. I never like went social. out and talked about Mario Odyssey. <laughs> I'm guessing he's like, I didn't go on the boss. Yeah, have this controller. Controller hat. <laughs> I mean, you can't really play two players on Splatoon, so you can't really give them the controller there either. But, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, for British game, artistic achievement, and audio achievement, oh. uh, Hellblade Senu Senua's or Senua's Senua Sacrifice. Hellblade, there we go. Hellblade. <laughs> Yeah, that game actually looks really fun. Oh, wait, no, they also won Game Beyond Entertainment. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> sure. I don't know what that means exactly. Probably, like... Uh, it performed better than what it probably was meant to. Mm, I think it means, like, more... Like, it's closer to art than an actual game. Like, you know how some games are, like, considered art... But like this one, like, it was really heavily on story and audio and everything. It's just like, it performed more like a movie rather than a game. Like, it's oh. more. You, so you know the what games I mean? that don't deserve to be counted as games, yeah. 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 Yeah, like, they deserve to be counted as something more. But I'm guessing that's what they mean by that. And it always looked really nice. And, but when I buy a game, game, I expect to be able to, you know, play a game. No, oh, yeah. So. Like. Especially for an indie title, it looked way more than what it should have. Yeah, indie games seem to be doing so much better now. Yeah. Not counted on the sky, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, um, don't miss that. While that did have a terrible start, it has got better with updates. Yeah, I heard that too. And it's uh, officially coming to Xbox, I think. Yeah, I bet soon. they can't wait. Yeah. I mean, like, it's kind of like... Uh, PUBG when it was originally on Xbox it was really buggy and horrible but like if you get into it now it's a really good time to get into it because now it's all fixed the same thing with uh, No Man's Sky uh, uh, in the beginning it had like a really rocky start but now it's well, I won't say rocky start they plain old lied about it <laughs> let's just say rocky start <laughs> they don't even deserve to be released on Xbox yeah but I mean, uh, well now, the game now might it's... not still be good it's pretty much what it should have been, or closer yeah. to that. Yeah. Without the multiplayer. But, uh, they need quite multiplayer for that. Multiplayer isn't that easy, especially with a world that big, though. Uh, well, here's my idea, then don't make a world that big. There's no need lie. for it. Or just don't lie about multiplayer. <laughs> anyway. No, one of the two works. Mm. And even though Overwatch didn't even come out in 2017, it still won the award for Evolving Game. I didn't even have. Yeah, I guess it you could count because it had multiple updates. Like, new characters. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so I guess you could count that. 
Yeah. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn won original property. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Then Night in the Woods, a game that I really want to play but still haven't gotten around to it, uh, won for best narrative. Best narrative. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I've never really heard about that game until you mentioned it. It it looks really nice. It looks fun and quirky with like still a little bit of mystery in it. And I don't know. It just it seems like a really good game, and I've only heard good things about it. I haven't heard anything bad about it, so <laughs> I'm only looking forward to playing it. But yeah. But not actually wanting to play. No, I do want to play it. I just still haven't. <laughs> um, I think it's. Your mind is telling you not to buy it. What? I'm buying Mario Odyssey instead. No. Anyway, uh, Gorogoa is one best debut game. Never heard of it. Oh, oh, uh, remember they advertised it on the Switch, I think during a direct. It was really weird. It kind of looked like the world was in a flip book and it was like continuing to unfold. No. Nope. It's really fucking weird, but it looks really nice. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if how much was the price that? Oh, it came out on iOS and Android and Switch and Windows. So, basically, came out on everything. Good to know it's a debut game. Though. <laughs> um, it could have easily won best mobile game, but whatever. Anyway, and. Yeah, Best Academy Fellowship Award. I don't know what that is, but okay. Tim Schaffer. Oh, I don't know who he is. Yes. American Comedian. Oh, oh, he's the guy who made Grim Fandango and Psychonauts. And I've heard Dave of the Psycho Tentacle. You don't know Not Grim Fandango? Like it's no. the one with the... I'm pretty sure it's point and click. It was a skeleton and he's... Can't remember if he is death or he's working. No, he is death. I don't know. It was really cool. It was kind of like a a noir film based game where you play as death, and it was it, it was funny. Yeah, I'll stick to dark side too. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough. My death. Uh, also, Day of the Tentacle. Never heard of them. You never that heard just of reminds me of weird Splatoon two. It, it's an it's an old. <laughs> it's definitely not that. It came out Are you in, sure? Came Have out you in played 1993. the game? It came out in 1993. Way Maybe he saw the future. You don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think there's time traveling in the game as well. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, no, it's an old point-and-click adventure game. I think by LucasArts. I think. Maybe. I don't know. came around the same time that LucasArts was making point-and-click adventure games. Anyway, and... But yeah, that's about it. Best mobile game is Golf Clash, but... No one cares about that. Well, there have uh, been a lot of golf games come out. Surprised yeah. golf game didn't win. Golf Mania. Other golf ones. Golf Story. <laughs> golf on Wii Sports. Best golf game. <laughs> That's the only golf game you yeah, yeah. Um Best performer was Melina Huar- Huargens. Probably butchered the name, but oh well. You the- definitely butchered that. We'll move on. Hey, guess what she played in. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. <laughs> oh, it's a sign. We need to that game. It's, uh, I think it's only on PS4. Oh, oh you, you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's Xbox. Oh, yeah, they said they put it on Xbox. So, yeah, it's on Xbox, PS4, Windows. So, you can get it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sign. I should get it. Yeah. You need Kingdom Hearts and Jack when I buy that. <laughs> and best music is uh, for Cuphead. Cuphead? Yeah. So I, I give the best music five in no, it's Automata. Yeah, Automata. Yeah. Oh, I didn't really hear the music, but I heard it's great. Or Mario Odyssey. Yeah, it's actually music weird that... Music in Mario Odyssey is great. Yeah. It's weird that Nier Automata didn't even get mentioned on the list at all. I know. Nier is a great game. I can't wait to be able to play that on the PS4. Yeah. I, um, I love the hacking slash games from Platinum. They have yeah. Platinum games has me. So they've had very, their downloads. Very the interesting worlds, so let's put it that way. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we don't talk about now. That was terrible. They made a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. 
Yeah, Hacking Slash Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That sounds amazing. <laughs> it sounds amazing, but it isn't. And then, um, what else have they done? Oh, they made Star Metal Gear Sailor. Rising. Star Fox, well, we know how Star Fox say it, right? Yeah. The, the flying new games fun. are a good company, but they need to be left to their own devices. <laughs> yeah. Basically, stop getting uh, licensed properties, just make their own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Scalebound looked really cool. I'm sad it got like, the Wonderful 101. That was made by Platinum, and I heard that was great. Yeah. And Scalebound, Scalebound I really wanted that game from. That would have made me want an Xbox. <laughs> I love the Monster Hunter thing. I've seen by the good one. You get to ride a monster. Who wouldn't yeah, want that? And you get to, like, tell them what to do and everything. Exactly. You literally get a monster v monster battle with your monster. It's not luring them into a fucking trap. No, no, it's you get that monster there. <laughs> and they fight. It's like it's amazing. All it was amazing. Again. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I don't know. I think, I think definitely Nier should have gotten one of the things. One, yeah, one of the BAFTA awards. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they could have like, taken away Hellblade for one of the awards and given it to Nier. <laughs> like, audio <laughs> achievement. Or I reckon it definitely should have won music or audio. It does have some great music. Yeah. I don't get why they have to have an award for British game. It's like, well, because British people. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. That's it's like, offended me. <laughs> no, I mean, like, why, why bother like, limiting it to only Britain? If you're gonna do that, then like make British game, Western game, Japan. Like, if you're just gonna do only British, then it's kind of weird. But okay, no, it is the British weird. Academy Awards. So. Yeah. British Academy Award. Why wouldn't they have a British Award? I don't know. Like, <laughs> why, why have not, a war in why your not own have place? A, why, why not have a oh, European award? You. Why not have one for Europe? Because we don't like Europe. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> They're screwing our NHS over. Well, we don't like the Europe. <laughs> Rude. Mm. Another game that uh, came out that okay maybe shouldn't have gone in the BAFTAs but if they had like uh, more awards to give out like the game awards I think like Hat and Time should have won something I don't know Hat and Time yeah. looked like a really promising game to say the least alright well now we're going through that what game do you think would win game of the year this year there were a lot of great games this year that. yeah this uh, year I have to remember what games are coming out. Well, Smash is coming out. Yeah, you got Smash. You got the and new that's, Spider Man. That's my game of the year. I already know it. <laughs> yeah, you got the new Spider Man game coming out from Insomnia. Oh, yeah, that looks really great. Yeah. You got God of War. Uh, eh. I mean, God of War was really well talked about. It looked really promising, but I don't think it will win game of the year, to be honest. Well, I'm just telling you all the games. Yeah, I know. And Monster Hunter World. I mean, it's the first Monster Hunter World on the PlayStation system in a long time. It's the first Monster Hunter World in general, but yeah. <laughs> but no, first Monster Hunter game. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> um, That's why no one wants to talk to you. No one ever does. That's why no one listens to the podcast. <laughs> yeah, you're here. Maybe we should just cut you out. And just put your audio in, that's fine. Anyway, yeah. Uh... Monster Hunter, Spider Man. I'm trying to remember the other ones. You, oh, you've got Red Dead. Pokemon meant to come out. Red Dead, Far Cry. Yeah, Red uh, Dead 2. Far, Far Cry 5. That one came out a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Like looked fun, but um, I heard like. It's Far very Cry. Mixed, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's basically it's just <laughs> another, Far, another Far Cry game set in another area. Yeah. This time, America. America. That's, that, that's not innovative enough to win game. Yeah. I don't know, indie games. Indie okay. games won't really, will never win that. Indie, well they have an indie award. And also Cuphead won a lot last year. Let's see. Indie games coming out this year, the last night, don't know it. Oh, Celeste. Celeste. Yeah, Celeste is probably going to win it, something I heard. Isn't like, the last of us two or something like this? Or did that get delayed? See, it says it's coming out this year, but I 
boom, see it happening. I see it getting delayed again in like early 2019. Yeah. That's my that's my will. guess. Because Red Dead Redemption also got delayed from spring to fall. Yeah. We don't really have that many big indie games coming this year. Well, they probably just haven't announced them yet. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, there's Cel- the ones that I can recall. There's uh, Celeste, Super Meat Boy, and Faye. Those are the ones that I uh, heard of before. Remember Faye, the one that uh, it looks like uh, Ori in the Blind Forest, but oh, that 3D. Ori Day looked so good. That I remember that Ori Day, and that one looked good. No, not not Ori in the Blind Forest, but the one that looked kind of like it. Yeah, I, I know it's one you told. Open world, I'm about Ori now. Ori looked good. Faye doesn't. I want Ori. I think they released another game, didn't they? Probably. I, I like the art style of this game, so it doesn't look mad. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it's a series. No. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, they definitely yeah. released another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I thought so. Oh, it's not even... It's to be announced, the release date. So, yeah. Hmm, nice. Yeah, this like the the big guy is gone or something. I <laughs> oh wow! Not I think the big I think guy. they released a video or a trailer. Not not a trailer, like a teaser or something. Yeah, they probably yeah. Uh, last E three, that's right. Okay, yeah. Uh, something to look forward to, I guess. <laughs> but it's, it's uh, E three. So far, I think it's only for Xbox One and Windows Ten exclusive. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Well, I mean, but I've got Windows 10 on my laptop. Sure, well, I can handle it. <laughs> well, I mean, probably not, but yeah. Uh, I can still have it. <laughs> Let me dream. I mean, if Ori and the Blind Forest made it to Wii U, they made it to Wii U, right? I don't think so. Oh no, you're right. It didn't. Well, what am yeah. I thinking of then? Not, not that many games made it to the Wii. The I know, Wii U but... pretty much didn't exist. I, I remember it. Yeah, no, no, whatever. Another indie game that I would play if I had a PS4 is Unravel. That game looks fun. Yeah, no, I don't mind the look of that one. I'm not a fan of the whole knitted art style. What? I'm not a fan of the whole knitted art style. You don't like Kirby's Epic DR? <laughs> no, and I don't like Yoshi's Woolly World. <laughs> Rude. I don't mind that art style. It doesn't work for me. Yeah, but I that's probably not... won't get the new Yoshi game either. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that new Yoshi game. It's like, oh yeah, you can play this level and then play it again. But <laughs> and they're just trying to get the replay value out of it. Yeah, it's. Everyone like, knows most games aren't replayable. Haven't got much replayability. Mm, I don't really. I, I, don't, I don't think it will be as great of a success as they think it would be. Basically. I wish Yoshi that they never get more. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, but yeah, yeah. So that's it with the Baftas and all the side tensions from it. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, the uh, uh what's his face? Oh, I lost the tab. So yeah, that uh, Shinya Takahashi from uh, Nintendo. Uh. After the BAFTAs, he said uh, they were like researching new hardware. Basically, yeah. You know, oh, I don't. Know. Okay, we'll cut this part out too. Oh my god! Oh my Jesus! Okay, sorry. All right. So yeah, he said. Uh, here I have the quote. Nintendo constantly works on hardware, so we have been doing research and development. You may see the new system sometime in the future. And that's pretty. Oh shit, I broke something. Oh well. <laughs> Good job. Uh, it didn't break, it was just the lamp, it fell. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's pretty like obscure as it is. Uh, seeing yeah, literally but, nothing, just that they're working on something. Yeah. The other thing about it, pretty much, when a console comes out, they're already working on a new one straight away. There is pretty much no type of. Yeah, work. practically. So well, it, like, there is either the system that will come after the Switch, or it's an upgrade of the Switch. 
But we yeah. definitely won't see it for about, I'm saying, four to five years. Like the 3DS Maybe and the 3DS longer. XL or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they would not. They won't do that this early. I don't think they'll make an XL. I think they'll make like one with extra features, like a DS and DSi, where it wasn't like. Uh, I don't think they'll have too extra much more features powerful, for a while. more like, uh, like oh look, an extra camera or something stupid like that. Because so if like, we go by the 3DS, the 3DS and the 3DS XL, that just had a bigger screen, didn't have no extra. So if we go by that, then it would just probably have more power in it. But we mm-hmm. won't. They won't have no features to a very long time. Basically, it'll be the new Nintendo 3DS. Yeah. So uh, it won't be another five to six years till we yeah, see probably. an upgrade for it, which that actually matters. But saying that, though, the, just uh, working on new hardware doesn't mean like an upgraded Switch. Yeah. Because, okay, yeah, it, actually, no, it says me, you see the new system. But it could just mean like accessories to the system, like, you know, get this, and there's, I don't know. Does some extra features or something? Cause like they released a patent recently, uh, where it's like dual screen compatibility or something super like that. Whereas like you, it didn't say anywhere that it was a switch, so it could be a new mobile thing that they're working on. And they could probably just do that with the switch itself. Yeah, but I don't know. Anyway, the patent said it showed like two screens connected, uh, like next to each other, and one finger going across both of them. So it's showing that. The two screens are connected, and the game is placed on both of them. So, so like you can toss the ball. It didn't say it exactly, but it, you know, showed it in the patent. Like hit the ball from one switch, and then it would bounce on the walls or something, and it would go on to the other one. Like it would seamlessly yeah. connect. So as the games, uh, the game would like seamlessly connect and exist in both screens. And it even showed that they can work at an angle, or they can even work like apart from each other. Like they don't have to be connected next to each other one of them it showed that it was like uh about like 10 centimeters away and you still like you would hit the ball and it would toss from one screen into the other so yeah but that's something they could just do with the switch itself like, you'd have to find a switch screen but yeah they could just do that with, with like the friend. original switch <laughs> yeah maybe like a, it could be like with a friend like a, some yeah, sort of multiplayer game i can't see them releasing a new system just do that when they could pretty much already do that with the one that got now. Yeah, so like, but like, well, it's like what I was saying earlier, it's new system uh, doesn't necessarily mean the newest, the Switch, like the new Switch XL or whatever. Yeah, it uh, could just be a new system in general that they're working on. Uh, yeah. They work on systems as soon as one longer. Yeah, or it could just be some weird translation from Japanese, because I'm yeah, pretty sure he didn't say this in English. Then they put the translation for Google Translate, came up with that. Or, no, because, like, you know, different languages, different words mean different things. It wasn't a Google Translate, it was Google, it was a, it was a Google Translator. No, it was a literal person there translating. <laughs> no, it was a Google Translator. Yes, it was a <laughs> Google employee. <laughs> Unless he actually did speak in English and we're just pretending to be smart. I don't know, I didn't watch the battle. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I didn't even know they were on to laugh at the finish. Was a BBC interviewing him as well, which is weird. It's weird when you see like big companies like BBC or whatever, like taking an interest in video games. Like yeah, the BAFTA is like not a big award ceremony, but like you know, big enough that the BBC showed up. The BBC aren't that big. They are big, but they're not the main source. Of the yeah, I know they're not the main source, but they're big enough that I heard of them over here. <laughs> oh, that, and that's all we need. A little island in God knows where to hear about something. I mean, like, I don't know, I just think it's weird. And, like, in general, not only the BBC, like, more and more uh, big companies that have nothing to do with video games are taking a slight interest in them now. Yeah, that's because, you know, they're ranking the views. I know. They don't care about games, they care about views. I know, it's just, it's weird. It's weird how, like, times change and everything. Yeah, the time is so weird. Thank I, mean, I was expecting 2010 to be like 1950. I was shocked when it wasn't. <laughs> I know, you th- still think that wooden Monopoly boards would still be a thing, but no. Now, now we got Mario Kart Monopoly. What's happening to the world? I don't know. But Mario Kart Monopoly does look cool. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and I, I love the Mary, the normal Mary I'm not playing. <laughs> yeah. They should have done more with Monopoly on Switch. Yeah, they could have added the Mario ball. <laughs> or, or use the Amiibo, so you got a special figurine. Yeah, or like, yeah. use the... Yeah, that, that would actually be really a lot of fun. Or like, use the Amiibo to get a board. Since you're already paying, like... No, not like another board. That's actually a bit too much. Okay, yeah, but like here, an Amiibo costs 20 euros. Is like, yeah, but they, they overprice no everything cares, here. But... Yeah, no, they, over, they overprice everything here. But like, still, it's... It costs relatively a lot of money that costs like as much even sometimes more than dlc so why not give me a little bit of dlc with every game that works with it it doesn't i don't know they, they kind of like underuse their amiibos they're not they're using they them do. to their fullest but they potential. still get money from it so they don't care i know basically the, they don't they, care about you money <laughs> it seems like they're using the amiibos less and less and their only sales are for collectors well you know what I mean? they pretty much only really because of Smash. Yeah. So when there's no Smash game, they are just there. I mean, even in Smash, they didn't really do. It was just like a harder NPC to fight against. Like, what yeah, did the Smash? You... What did it even do in Smash? All it did was just level up. Yeah. Yeah, but. But it was fun to go with days. If you could be <laughs> a level fifty bayonet amiibo, you would know you are amazing at the game. Did you beat the level 15 amiibo? No, I don't amiibo? have a Bayonet amiibo. <laughs> so I believe a level 50 um, Wario, Yoshi, and Charles all at the same time. At the same time? Oh, they were also at going against time. each other, right? So. No, no, no. It was a VB1. It took a while to beat, but I did it. I got no proof of that, so you just have to take my word. Mm. Uh. But oh. Link is hard when you level them up. What? Link is hard when you have them up. Yeah, hmm. logically. He is terrible. I, I hate fighting him. <laughs> I never thought I just shoved him on my team. Let him do all the work. I just put um, Link 2 and Link and Zelda against each other and let them mobile each other up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have the 99 lives? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got um, Greninja and Falco actually, and I still haven't put them in there. But I kind of feel bad for them. It's like all level one and then going against level fifteen links. <laughs> <laughs> Best way to train them. <laughs> like go hard or go home, but you know it's a bit too hard. <laughs> if it's too hard, then they don't deserve to be. Mm. But yeah, anyway, uh, what else happened this week? Yeah, you know, Sonic Mania got announced for a new thing. Wait, did it get announced this week? No, that didn't get announced this week. That got announced ages ago. Oh, well, whatever. We're talking about. And the new now. details got released for yesterday with the traversable stages. Oh, yeah. But that's it got announced quite a while ago now. What else is it going to be in it? What else is it going to be in it? Basically, it's just a physical release, that's it. Yeah, it's a physical release. New, new content. I think there's a new mode. New characters and then the traversable stages. That's all they've announced so far, but they put in us more. Mm -hmm. right. Characters looked funky though. The, the characters look stupid. <laughs> they look radical. No, they don't. A word perfect for when Sonic Mini was released. Uh, one of them looked kind of. I don't remember. I remember one of them look, kind of looked like a bee, or reminded me of a bee anyway. Yeah, they've got to keep following the animal. Yes. You have Blaze the Cat. I love that cat. I feel... It's a shame he wasn't in more games. Should have been more of them. <laughs> I wanted him as a playable character. The only playable character he's in, I think, is... Uh, in Sonic Heroes. Who are you talking about? Blaze the Cat. Do you know who Blaze the Cat is? Isn't it that really big cat? No, that's big. Oh, right, that's Big the Cat. Blaze the Cat is a purple one with fire, and it's a she, not a he. <laughs> What's Blaze the Cat? Blaze, Sonic Rush. You play it so in Sonic Rush. It's the one oh. that controls fire, she goes with silver. The hedgehog. Oh, hey, I remember. Uh -huh. I'm thinking of Big the Cat. No, I want Big the Cat. No, Big the Cat is stupid. Oh, Big the Cat's cute. I don't want cute. I want Big the Cat. Well, no one wants you. No one asked you about that. 
I'm talking about Everyone something. Everyone better. <laughs> it might be off topic, but it's relevant. When was Sonic Rush? What? Oh, Sonic, that came out on the DS. I didn't love that Oh, thing. okay. The game was amazing. That was a great Sonic game. I don't remember it at all. I was wondering, like, what the... Sounds like a mobile game. <laughs> it would have been, but it was on the DS, so <laughs> mobiles didn't kick off as much. We have Sonic Dash on mobile, I think. And cross... Sonic Colors now is also a good one. Yeah. Sonic I, would, I wish I played Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, Sonic Colors is great. I think they had a cross-promotional thing recently. With Pac-Man and Sonic, but I can't remember on what games. I remember, yeah. like you'd get a Smash Sonic. Bros. No, no, no. They would get a Sonic outfit on a Pac-Man game, and a Pac-Man outfit on the Sonic game. But I don't remember which games. I'm pretty sure it's the mobile ones, probably though, because like yeah, that's the probably. only thing they keep updated relatively often enough. But yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird looking at Sonic in a Pac-Man outfit. Yeah, that's perfectly normal. Not really, but okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You know what I think they should do if they're ever going to do anything with Amiibo? They yeah. could... Because, like, new phones have NFC readers in them. So they could make... Remember that old game? Not that old. That game on the Wii U was, like, you need your Amiibos to play it. Ah, oh, that one, yeah. Basically, something like that. But for mobile, yeah, you don't you, you don't really need anything like complicated controls or anything. Just like walk and jump, and you know, just like a platformer with different aesthetic and different whatever with every amiibo. So like it gives you something for buying an amiibo. Well, you just go for buying an amiibo. You, know? you just also go to buy games to get money for yeah. the amiibo. <laughs> I'd say if you only had Splatoon two, <laughs> you would have to be able to use one amiibo. And yeah. it, they need Smash to come out, and then they'll use Smash anymore. Yeah, no, they like. Yeah, there is so much more they could do in there, but they're not going. To. It's just a way. But then you think after Smash, what are they going to do with Amiibo? Nothing again. They're just they're like, oh yeah, you can buy this Amiibo for this game, and it'll give you, wow, one extra item. Like it, and it, it Zelda, helped me a lot in Bayonetta too. I didn't have to grind for Halos over and over. Mm. And I just done the Amiibo. So much right. easier. Yeah, fine. But like, that only worth the money. Like okay, in Zelda Breath of the Wild, you unlock different clothing for Link, which was actually really cool and a good use of them. But other than that, it didn't really seem like they did much. Like in Mario Odyssey, you had to get the Mario Odyssey amiibos, but they didn't even give you that. Much. It's like, oh yeah. Well, you help. don't have to. You can use your other amiibos. They help you find the locations of the moons. So you know they. Some of them, not all. Walking them, around. The Mario Odyssey ones, they just give you the equipment. But you can buy them in game anyway, so there's no reason to buy them, yeah. unless you have a collector. But they heard their own sales there, so. Yeah. No. But most importantly, we need to get the cereal. <laughs> I've heard that cereal doesn't even taste that much. I don't care. It's got an amiibo. But you don't have Mario Wonders in. You I won't be able to use it. I don't care. You're I... moaning this much about not being able to use your amiibo, but you will buy an amiibo and not be able to use it. Doesn't even give you like items in, S in Zelda or something. No, no. Nothing as far as I know, only works in Mario Odyssey, and they again have just bind moons. Well, that's annoying. Well, not really. It's fucking cereal. Well, I accept my cereal to come with a full amiibo and a. Statue and everything. <laughs> Figurine. Well, you are asking for a little bit too much. Well, well. Just a smidget. Just a little bit. Well, one thing's for sure about Amiibo. They've upped the quality much more than they used to. Oh, yeah, they definitely have. <laughs> if you go back to the first Link Amiibo that came out, and then go to the 30th anniversary ones, I know. It's... They just look so much better. <laughs> I have like, did first, you see uh, the whole Link face? <laughs> that was terrible. I, I, have, I have him on top of my TV, Sam. Yeah, just it's, grab him now and just have a look. It's, it's terrible. Looks like his face is covered in urine. He, like, um, his skin is yellow. His skin is literally <laughs> yellow. The only good old one they did, I would say Mario. Mario was good. And Samus. Samus was really good. Charizard looked good, too. Pikachu didn't look bad, but he just looked 
too plasticky. Uh, yeah. I know that's what it does. Like, if you go to the Splatoon to me, like, they don't look plastic. Yoshi doesn't look that much plastic. I think the like, when you have good. Charizard, right. I have Charizard looks really good. I have Charizard. Yeah. yeah. I said Charizard, yeah, but you ignored good. me. Uh, well, of course I do. What else would I do? Oh, the villager had a bunch of problems, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, human, the humanoid ones that didn't look that good when they first launched. Yeah, but villager isn't even really humanoid, is he? He's a human. He's not part animal. Barely. He's a human kid that runs Barely. a town full of animals. Well, completely natural. I natural. disagree. I, I love Wario, though. If you look at Wario and look at his chin, it's amazing. <laughs> Wario's chin is amazing. Wario in general is amazing. I want a new Wario game. Wario, man. I want Wario, man. Yeah. Good. He had more of a bald chin in the Smash Amiibo <laughs> than he did in the Mario Amiibo. Yeah, I'm talking about the Smash Amiibo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what is, I love that. <laughs> it looks amazing. like two little flat pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> you dribbling a bit there, Wario? <laughs> You okay there, mate? <laughs> <laughs> You're meant to eat the pancake. It's a facial accessory. <laughs> mm. But yeah. Oh, do we have anything else to say? Not unless anything else happened this week. Uh, it's been a slow news week anyway. Nothing much has really happened. Yeah. We didn't even talk much about the news, but... <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> Well, you know, we managed it, we went over it. Yeah. People Barely. come here for my personality. <laughs> they don't like you. I mean, you no. ah, It's okay, no one likes me. I'm used to it. Yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> I mean, who would? Anyway, but let's not leave it so depressing. And if you would like to get in contact with us, we you can fa find us on Twitter at... What is it again? Switch it up. You it's say at switch it up pod. Switch it up pod. Switch it up pod. Or on our email, which is will be in the description. <laughs> Lazy. As well with the Twitter. I don't know <laughs> what the email was. <laughs> Enjoy. Lazy. Can't even look it up. Well, I'm busy playing yeah. out up. Leave me alone. Oops. Anyway. But yeah, that's it for us this week. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone, take, I guess. Take care. <laughs> I'm sure they'll have a great week now. <laughs> <laughs>